right. Good evening. Hello, ladies. Oh, sorry. Christmas, dearest, father. Matt, put her out! <gasps> Please don't tell me, Mary. Just look at her. You've burned the whole dress. And now you've made me lose my pin. Again. Hurry, Mary and Max will be waiting. Huh. Father, look at my fairy's new gown. Yes, dear. Now we can't wait any longer. But what about Uncle Albert? Your mother and I mustn't be late this evening. Come on, Mary. Max! Max! I'm stuck in here, help! Max, what did I tell you? Can't you listen to me for once in your life? Come on, up! Finally, a motorbike! I have no idea. All right? Almost ready. Your mother is on her way down. <laughs> Is Uncle Albert here? Louise, we really need to get going. Do you really have to, Mother? We already went over this, Mary. But it's Christmas. And everybody should be together. And Uncle Albert will be very disappointed. Not as disappointed as I am, but I told you what an honor it is to be asked to sing at the palace ball. Yes, but I... Just imagine all the guests I'll be singing for. Try and calm yourself, <laughs> Louise. I better go to the little girl's room. So... Such a beautiful city, don't you see? Don't feel pressured to answer. It was a rhetorical question. But for now, I have the strangest feeling that we are being followed. I'd better check. We are not being followed. Now I'm a little disappointed. We've been waiting and waiting! Ah, I'm sorry, my mates. Merry Christmas! Ah, Merry Christmas, you two. Are you leaving already? Is Christmas over? Did I miss it? I asked you to be here at five. I don't carry a watch. It inspires conformity. Don't keep the children up with your fairy tales. Speaking of fairy tales, will Dr. Freud be at the festivities? I certainly hope not. What's the matter, sweetheart? I don't want 
wanted you to help me make the mistake. But you weren't here. Well, I doubt I could have done any better than you. But I'm very sorry. I hope you will let me make it up to you. Whoa! Oh, do you want a boss? I said three, and don't call me boss. Is it for us? Could be. That's a great letter off my mind. And don't talk to the children. That's boss. I... Eyes closed. Voila. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Ah. Uncle, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Each doll has his own story. That dear fellow is named Ilgud. In a faraway kingdom, he escaped the circus. To join a prince's court. You're making that up. No, he told me so himself. And never call him a monkey. It makes him furious. Why? Because he's a chimpanzee. Exactly. Max, go ahead. Give it a twist. Wow. Who's the fat guy? Oosh! You'll hurt his feelings. That stinker. He's very sensitive about his weight. Well, I'm sure he just needs someone to play with. Yeah, that's his job. Sticks. He's the most promising young drummer, but he plays so loud sometimes he drives him crazy. The last one. <laughs> oh, thank you, Uncle. Oh, you're welcome. All right, children, supper time. Oh, wait a moment, wait a moment. I have something else to show you. That means you too, uh... <laughs> Mary and Max, meet the Nutcracker. I call him MC for short. But watch out, they say he is the most wanted doll in town. Who by? I would tell you, but then I would have to kill you. <laughs> right, party advance to the kitchen. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Uh, 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 not until you have tied up all your loose ends, my deputy. Goodness, what a fruitcake. And I don't mean Frau Elmer. Are you coming, Mary? I want my nutcracker first. <laughs> Max, how dare you? Mary, Mary, let me see. He broke him, look. It's all right, darling. It's not so bad. Here it is. He always breaks everything. Fortunately, I always come. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a stupid toy. No, it's not. Tell 
them, Uncle. Come down here, Max. Max. Mary is right, Max. But it's just a toy for you. Maybe a real friend or someone else. It just depends on your imagination. In fact, I have a theory about it. You have a theory about everything. Yeah, it's called relativity. Would you like to hear it? Sounds hard. Aye, it's the hardest thing in the world to understand. It's in context. This is a piece of strudel. If you're with someone tall, truly vast, unsurpassed, built to last, they will think you're small. <laughs> Never mind, after all, when you meet a petite, short and sweet, they will think you're tall. Up is down, take his in, in is out, whisper, shout, there's no doubt, it's all relative. Who's to say what is or is not? Who writes your plot? You do. Every point of view is yeah. simply up to you is yeah. how your dreams come true is yeah. as real as yeah. by you. This is that, these are those, what to scream, what's ideal, what to feel, no one really knows. Fantasy comes and goes, black is white, day is night, so you might turn your highs to lows. If you think positive. Deep, open mind, you will find life is kind. It's all relative. Except relative. What all. makes relative us what? Relative we all. Are That's what. <sighs> Why don't you come live with us? Tuck me in every night. I'm always with you, dear. If I seem far away, just think of me, and I'll be close. Now close your eyes and dream. Can you tell us the Nutcracker story? Uncle? Uncle? Sorry about my brother. Voice is like that. No problem. I'm used to it. <sighs> oh, careful! I don't want to get broken again. You can talk. Of course I can talk. I knew you weren't just a wooden toy. All right. If you really want to see something amazing, put me up somewhere high in the room. Like the top shelf of the bookcase. Mary! waiting for someone who believed like you. You're really special. You could imagine that I'm really alive, that I can move and think and act and... <gasps> I have to act. And now, I need a plan. You know, 
You remind me of someone, but I can't think of who. Not you too. Someone very familiar, very famous. Yes, Napoleon. I hate this hat. So why don't you take it off? Because this hat is carved together with my head. By the way, it's the first time I've seen a Napoleon Nutcracker. Please don't call me Nutcracker. I hate that name as well. Call me MC. What, MC? No, NC. M. C. I was fast asleep, dreaming, and kaboom! Ah. My pillows, well, just, they exploded. Exploding pillows? Wait a minute, I thought I heard voices. Spontaneous combustion, that's the name for it. Didn't it ever happen to you? Yeah, when I was younger, a boy moved to my town. And he was so <laughs> handsome. I thought he was going to propose to me. Oh. Maybe you can tell me in the morning. What am I thinking? We'll tidy up. Good night. This in the morning. In the morning. Oh, good night. Good night. Da da dee. Da da dee. Da da dee. Phew. She would have dropped dead if she saw me, and we don't want that. And that's on a good night. You're a pretty good liar. I'm impressed. Me? I never lie. Oh, no? Then what was that about exploding pillows? I was merely being economical with the truth, and that's altogether a different <laughs> matter. <laughs> they did explode. I just simply didn't say why. <gasps> that's it. I've got a plan. I have to speak to my friends in the doll's house. You mean they're alive? Of course. All dolls are alive. So, what's the plan? Oh, it needn't concern you. Girls are no good at military strategy. Where are you going? I just told you. To the doll's house. Wait, I have to get dressed first. I don't have time. How ungrateful men can be. <sighs> it's appalling, that's what it is. I can't believe you're a friend of Uncle Albert's. Okay, I'm sorry. You're right. Get dressed then. Wait a second. You didn't see any rats down there, did you? Rats? In our house? My father wouldn't stand for it. You should see what they can do to a chunk of wood. You might find it a little changed. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Anything so big. Where's the ceiling? The roof. Is this real? If you believe in it, it's real. Come on. Do we get smaller or did the room get bigger? If you don't mind me saying, that's a naive question. Have you already forgotten what Uncle Albert said? Everything is relative. Come on, let's go! Every toy you hung on the tree is now a lie. The gnomes, the soldiers, even the snowflakes.
for a minute. Come on. Let's pull it together. One. One. Two. Two. Three. This house hasn't been refurbished for 30 years. So much poussière dust that I've developed an allergy. Tinker, one more word. Oh. Gilgood. Your Highness, I have no excuse for my terrible behavior. But in my defense, I was getting one of my migraines at the time, and I was reduced to this. And he's still drumming. It looks, Your Highness, as if you have a plan. Yes, I do. What we need to do is go... I shall never speak again, but I just have to say one thing. What? The truth is, Uncle Albert kept this house in his dusty attic for 30 years. All of a sudden, it's his most valuable possession. I've rarely heard of anything more cynical. How dare you criticize Uncle Albert like that? I like it. Uncle Albert car mistakes. Maybe Your Highness should introduce us to his charming companion. What? Oh, sorry, yes. Uh, allow me to present our new owner, Mary. Mary is Uncle Albert's niece. This is Gilgood, Pinker, and Sticks. <laughs> I, my closest friend. The pleasure is all mine. The honor. Right. The plan is this. We're going in to fight against the Rat King. Well, if he's coming, I'm certainly not. We're not gonna miss you, man. Hold it! No one is going anywhere yet. Sticks, go up the tree and see if the snow fairy is up there. Mm -hmm. Um, no. I'll go myself. Wait. You're not going up the Christmas tree without me. You'll have more fun if you stay with us. I'll teach you some drumming. Oh, don't listen to him. He's the least reliable person I know. Your Highness, it would be my pleasure to give you a lift. I hope you have a head for heights. I certainly don't. Wow. After you. Board. Why do they call you your highness? Oh, uh, uh, no real reason. Just something they do. The cherubim and seraphim. <laughs> I hung it myself.
I've been waiting for you. What took you so long? I have to deal with the others. Everything is chaos down there. What do you expect? They haven't been wound up for years. I want to thank your friend Mary here for my wonderful new gown. Perhaps it needs a little tuck here to have a better shape. Let me see. <laughs> That's better. You know, you look exactly like my mother. But I'm not. You're the snow fairy, aren't you? <laughs> Who else would I be? Can I talk to you for a minute? Aren't they beautiful? Oh, yes. You can join the dance if you like. But I can't fly. How do you know if you've never tried? Get on with it. Go on. coming Well, you can do something even more amazing. Like what? There is something I want to tell you about NC. He is not like the others. That terrible creature, the Rat Queen, cast him under a bad spell. She's so awful I can barely bring myself to say her name. Rat Queen. But with you here, Mary, we might just have a chance to defeat her. <laughs> How do you face the world? Cucumber, cool, or more frantic? Do you take the view? Things you say and do never mean a bean when the world is so gigantic. How do you see yourself? Tough as old boots or romantic? Is each day a new beginning? Have you got a fight worth winning? You can guess yes and yes, for you're special and unique. Do you believe anything is possible? Yes. Then take his hand. Don't look down. Don't be afraid to touch a star. No matter how far, no matter how bright, your dreams will take flight with beauty and power.
Is it happening? You're a boy. Not just a boy, a prince. Wow. You did it. You believed. And you released him from the Rat Queen sorcery. Now I can go to my city. And people can see me. Now I have a plan. I'm going straight back to my kingdom. No, maybe I should wait. You really are an ungrateful person. The least you could do is ask her for a dance. The prince, all right. I'd recognize him anywhere. So, he's alive. And he's dancing with the blonde. We gotta go tell the king. Let's get out of here. As for the music, it's terrible. So beautiful. See that cloud there? It was my city before the Rat King took it from me. His mother turned me into a wooden nutcracker. And then he released his army into the city center, scaring all of my people on a beautiful spring day. The Rat King is frightened of the sun, so he has to burn everything in his smoke factory, including all the children's toys, just to keep that cloud going.
Move it! Come on! Something juicy, I hope. We caught them trying to blow up the palace, Your Majesty. Sabotage in my kingdom? Aren't you ashamed of trying to harm your king? I see no king. I beg your pardon? You can turn our prince into wood and turn us into your slaves. But he'll never be more than a mangy, dirty rat to us. Such a pity. It's all so unnecessary. As someone who abhors violence, it... Oh, so hard-headed. You humans. chance but humans just couldn't do it ran the world so badly that they blew it far too bright and breezy far too free and easy freedom makes me queasy now's the right time for that fall ah! To a Stygian era Darkness web rodents seem much clearer Days eliminated Sunlight so overrated Discipline created Red wing policies for all So humans Such a life we can't stand them Radis rules quality red demonstrand them Glorious and blue Kind. <laughs> and I'll let you in on a little crate secret, my greasy terrorist little friend. Soon, only us rats will be left. And we'll have an empire that will last a thousand years. <laughs> Sorry, too long. Lousy breaks. Ah, my loyal bat rats. What new? Nothing special. No big deal. What news? I haven't time for games. Your favorite prince is still alive, oh. sir. Oh. <sighs> Ooh. I'm so scared. Maybe I should run into a hole and hide. Take them to the smoke factory! I knew it, Shut Skull! Up. I knew it! The prince is alive! Stop it, Baldy! He's alive! Ow! Get my wig, quick! Quick! Idiot can face a crisis. Day to day living that wears you down. Oh, mother! 
Mother! Oh, it's only you. Mother! You appear to be slipping, old gal. Your spell on the prince is broken. He's alive. Alive! If the other humans find out, my dreams will be shattered. I see his stupid face laughing at me. What am I going to do? Turn up your hearing aid for crying out loud. Do you want to ratify the world or not? Come to Mama. Closer. Time, will you? I need to build up my strength. A little rat juice. Must be that meddling snow fairy, little cutesy poor. Welcome to paradise. was frightened of the sunlight. Mm -hmm. So why don't you just shut down the smoke factory? That's it. Fantastic. Maybe some girls are good at military strategy. I'm coming. Hold on. Mary! What is it? Why aren't you in bed? I have to save him! What, Max? No, not Max! It's C! My tree. What on earth is going on here? Prova! Prova! Coming! Did I oversleep? Oh, you're safe. You're safe. Would you care to explain this? Um, well, 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 sir, I saw the exploding pillows, but this, Mary? Exploded? Pillows? That was before. Listen, please. I tried to tell you. The king of the rats is afraid of the prince, <gasps> and the... <gasps> rats! And the tree was chewed down by his rat dogs. <gasps> Joseph, do something. I'm going to faint. Don't be ridiculous, Louise. There are no rats in this house. You're meant to be in charge. But what with that brandy glow? It's no wonder you see exploding pillows. What's going on? You, get in here. Ow! Look what you've done. I can't do anything! 
He didn't do anything. I told you, it was the rat. I think I see one. Please, please. <clears throat> Max never left the nursery. <clears throat> this I am sure of. Let me go! All right, enough. Everybody get to bed. Children. <clears throat> Louise, come down from there. Tomorrow I want real answers, young lady. Hurry, back to bed, children. Hurry. So this tree was 200 feet tall and reached all the way up to the stars. Hmm? I told you, the ceiling was gone. The ornaments danced, you flew, and then the tree came crashing down. It must have been wonderful. Louise, even Max doesn't believe her. Do you, Max? Not a word. Perhaps you'd like to show us. Make this room grow before our eyes. I can't. I don't have the power. Then maybe you'd like to explain how this tree got sawed through. Because they have steel teeth. A bit of fun is one thing, Mary, but quite blatantly lying is another. Now, give me that doll. You can't have him, ever. And I'm not lying, I never do. Joseph, listen, do you remember what Dr. Freud told us about child psychology and dreams? Please, can I have one morning without that quack being dragged into everything? Where are you going? I don't want you to see me cry. Nobody's listening, not even trying. They simply say, come what may, I'm lying. But on reflection, I'm simply different. What of a kind, I don't mind. become real and I feel I'm wanted here I am braver I won't surrender safe in my world and it's all I need You know, I have the strangest feeling that something is wrong at Mary's house. I'd better check. I didn't do anything! I swear! I want to talk to you. Please help me. All I do is take good care of yourself. You have to talk to me. And then you will you. Happy Christmas, Joseph. Is everything all right? Uncle, a quiet word in my study. Of course. Oh, this is only Please, nice. Mary. Oh, Hello. What I have to say isn't easy. If you are discussing our children, I have the right to be here. Mary has become unmanageable. And Uncle, I'm sorry, but it's more than a little bit your fault. You think so? You do nothing but fill her head with fairy stories. Dolls with souls. She's living in a fantasy world. She has a wonderful imagination. I know, Mary is a very special girl. We all know that. But she must be prepared for the real world. 
Reality is merely an illusion, albeit a very persistent one. The only solution that I can see is for you to stop coming here. If that's what you wish. I'm afraid it is. When you leave, please will you take the doll's hearse away with you. I see. Tell me one thing before I go, Joseph. What is in your pockets? Pockets? Mm -hmm. What's in your pockets? I have no idea. Has it really been so long since you've been a child? Don't you remember? There was a boy whose pocket contained one special treasure. A precious pebble worth much more than any diamond holding the pebble he was king. But then one day disaster, mishap beyond all measure. The pebble vanished, whether lost or strayed or stolen, the boy felt that he'd lost everything. Distraught, he used every last resort, he searched long and hard, in short, he failed. And how he cried, his dreams had died, his enchanted world forsaken. But sadder yet, the young forget, and all too soon his life was overtaken. By grown-up toys, by grown-up joys, he grew serious and grand, and that stone left alone, abandoned on the sand. Of childhood. That was Joseph. And he was just a year older than Mary is now. You should have seen my pirate ship. I made it all by myself. Why so sad? He misses his pebble. Don't you wish you had it? I saved it for you. I'm so glad I didn't leave the house without my lucky pebbles. <laughs> I'm not going to sit around here waiting for the Rat King to come and find me. He has spies everywhere. We can go and find the snow fairy, get the spell taken off. What, for another 25 minutes? No, thanks. That old rat witch is not retiring anytime soon. She's getting stronger. We've got to stop her. In that case, I'm coming with you. What's Only going on? <gasps> Max, you're a soldier. What rank are you? Captain. Captain Max, do you want to join the fight against the rat kingdom? Yes. Because we need some real fighters to defeat the Rat King. There's a real Rat King? You didn't believe me. You didn't believe your sister? No. Now, are there any weapons that aren't broken? What? Work, Captain. Now, get yourselves ready for the journey. Where are we going? To the kingdom. Do you have any motorbikes in your army? He's not coming. 
You can come with us on one condition. That you promise not to break any more toys. Agreed, Captain? Sure. That's easy. All right, then. Get dressed. I'll go ahead and wake the boy. Hey, sleepyhead! Rise and shine! What's this? I can't go without me. Mary, I found your pen! Inthy! Inthy, where are you? Oh, here. Here. Where? In the chimney. Here. Too dark. I can't see anything. This is the fine fellow who broke my nutcracker's jaw. Thanks, Mr. Rapkin. He doesn't look so scary. Me? Not in the teeniest bit. In fact, I only came to ask you to play with my toys. Huh? Play something for the kiddies, drummer boy. Something snappy. Boom, chicka chicka boom. <laughs> Nothing funny. Move! Mm. Does that jaw anything loose? Hmm? You call that music? You seem to have forgotten that all toys have a breaking point, and you've reached yours! You might feel a little lightheaded at first. Don't worry, I won't neglect you, you little wooden brat. Oh no! Oh no, you, you, you couldn't be happy, cracking nuts. Ingratitude! Ah! Open your mouth, prince! Oh, he is! Yes! Ah! <laughs> Leave him alone! <laughs> Leave him alone! Like a good little priest! I'm not afraid of you. Yes. Or. Wow! Can you do that again, please? <coughs> Max, my uh, friend. Uh, your sister has to learn some manners. You ever wonder what happened to a doll's soul when it burns? No. Perhaps now's a good time to start. 
<laughs> Doss them in the trap and then take them to the smoke factory. Come on, Lord. Huh? No! Wait! Come back! Come on! Oh, God! Yeah, let him go! Or what? I'll call my father. Father? You can't even convince the man we're real. Where does it go? Rat world. We even have a special rat bike for you to ride. A rat bike? With a motor? Max, come back! I'll be right back, Mary. Promise. Come, take my hand. Max, don't even think about it! No way, traitor! It's just unbelievable. Wow. Can I drive? Anything for boys who break toys. Mom. He's gone. They're all gone. I tried to protect him. They just knocked me down. <laughs> Your house. It has an attic, I presume. Yes. And in this attic, there is a mirror. Then we may just be able to find His Highness after all. Let's see, what should I do to stay alive? Keep calm. We can do this. Now block the rear view. And me? Get the rope. Remember what your Uncle Albert used to say? That which seems beyond our reach may in fact be close at hand. We just have to step through. I've been there before, miss. Allow me to lead the way. Hmm. Hmm. One too many cupcakes. Ooh. Oh. This looks 
familiar. Yes, miss. used to be a beautiful town. The sun is blocked out by smoke from burning toys. You do know the rats burn toys. What is this? The Rat King wants to turn everyone rat. Oh, excuse me, too. <laughs> Tell us the way to the Rat King Smoke Factory. Follow the toy. Stay close. Your Majesty, the list of prisoners. Stop, stop! Get out! Get away, you little rogue! Go away! Get out. Move! Ah, finally, we can begin. My little friend, look. Huh? Huh? All the boys and girls giving joyfully for the good of rat world. We call it rat aid. Rat aid, yes, we call it. They don't look so happy. Of course they are. They're helping make my cloud. <coughs> yes, Your Majesty. Come on.
This is the day, so join us. We are bursting with glee and pride. Those who would once destroy us on our side are ratified. Sing and emote with passion. It's the darkest of partnerships. Good guys are out. Fashion in the glitz in my lips. Rats, they swell the choir. Boom, Jack Merck and Meyer. Don't be afraid to parade your desire. So this is our manifesto. In short, is what I say goes. We are all rodents now. Heed the call, make the vow to a boss. The slide is glint the light. Ratification! Another kid's toys? No one should break another kid's toy. You're not a rat boy! You're a wrong boy! And I want to go home. I want my sister. Lock him up! Don't worry, she'll be joining Daddy! you soon. Help me! in here. Sticks. Tinker. Where's in C? He saved us. But one of the rat dogs caught him. I think he's dead. Look. Can't be. We have to stop him. Come on. The 
I'll spot you. Then you have to distract them for me. How? Quickly. All the way to your kingdom, and you can't leave me. I can't wake him. Please help me. You have to. You the have last to. time, their power overwhelmed me. So this time, it has to be you. to do. You did it. I'm alive. You saved me. Yes. You brought me back. I just... You're alive. He's alive! Now. 
If you care to explain how a child could defeat your spell? Who knew somebody could love a chunk of wood? Maybe it's time to do what we do best. And what's that? Abandon the sinking ship. What? Climb aboard that new flying machine of yours and flee. Run away, skedaddle, boat. Abandon my kingdom over some spoiled brat and a little girl. It's what rats do, Sonny. We won. And little girls in love can be very dangerous. What do you want us to do? Sewers, can we get through the sewers? Through there. Oh, then I'll go. You're not Not running you, Miss anyway. Mary. Well, Barnabas, come here. Go and have a look at the sewers. Be careful, there may be rats down there. We can't get through there. I'll make sure we can. You're saving the last dance for me. It seems your precious prince left you all alone. No. Really? Then where is he? I don't know. <laughs> You're not a very good liar. Are you going to tell me where the prince is? Or shall I bite your face? One by one. Let's start with the little figgy. I'm right here, fanny face. Seize him! Oh, seize him! Get out of here! Mary! No! Come, come, come! 
Where about Pete? Are you all right? I can see daylight. What kind of a son abandons his own crippled mother? I bet I can fly that machine you were talking about. You? <laughs> sure. I can fly anything. You? Mm-hmm. Um, I could fly silver ones. I could fly any flying machine in the world. Try now. You said you could fly this thing! I know I can. I just don't know how to take off. We have to make it up to the roof of the palace. More to the point, what did that little monster do with my mother? This is the moment when oh so sensitive humans usually quilt something. To be or not to be, that is the question. You're not unintelligent for a rat. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, uh -oh. my God! I was looking for you, you old Matt, hag. We were just warming it up for you. Not that you deserve anything. Running out on me like that! Keep going. Where are we? I thought we were... Oh, the palace. We've come up the wrong tower. Come on, do it for Mama! That a boy.
I'm sorry, Mary, but it's time for you to go home. But this is my home. No, this is only a dream, darling. Then I don't want to wake up. Can I stay? Can I stay? I'm afraid not. Your parents will miss you terribly. So will Max. They're all waiting for you. Goodbye, Mary. You have to go. I'll never be able to repay you. We'll meet again. Really? I promise! Are you dreaming, dear? It's so beautiful. I really want to hear all about it. Mary! You have a visitor. Hurry and dress nicely. I will help you. Mmm, yummy. Are you all right? Much better. I hope you don't mind, but I brought someone along. He's a little shy. Are you ready? Mary, I would like you to be my new neighbor, Nicholas Charles. Go 
Good morning, good morning, good morning. You know, last night I suddenly realized that everything is not relative. It all depends on the morning They call me NC for short. Look what I have. My father's magic pebble. 